Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm gonna to show you how to integrate high level with open AI. Let's dive in. Okay, so one of the biggest problems I see with lead gens who generate leads on behalf of clients, whether it be on the retainer model or pay per lead or whatever that is, okay, we see that leads coming in outside of working hours usually don't get worked properly until the next day. And what you'll find is that leads coming in outside of working hours aren't as good quality as leads inside working hours for obvious reasons, okay? There's too much time in between uh, the lead coming in to the lead getting responded to, okay? And if you are doing it with automations, stuff breaks, it doesn't always work properly, but we've got a solution for that for you today. Uh, we've got a kind of system, we call it the sales Android, which actually does everything you need. It will chat to your prospect and qualify them out and send them to a booking page outside of working hours. It really is pretty clever stuff. And I wanted to show you how we do it and what it looks like. And I'm gonna hand over to my account manager, Graham, who will run through it and show you how simple and fast it is. You're gonna need less than half an hour to be set up and running. And this will dramatically change your business. All right, over to him. Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you quickly this AI chatbot and how easy it is to get it set up with one of our snapshots. Um, so I've got the snapshot link here. So I'll just paste that in and that should come up with yes, import now. And then we wanna go back and then I'm gonna just go and create my sub account using the snapshot. And I'll normally add it in manually. This will just be a test one just to show you. So I'll just put, Go. Um, good time zone. Cool, let's just set up this uh, this hub account with the snapshot. Everything is loaded in there. Uh, here. Um, save and switch to sub account so everything's in here um, the only things we need to change in the snapshot are to do with the zap um, so we'll just go to zapier and we'll create a new while that's creating our account um, we'll go to trigger so I use the web hooks in zapier so have a catch hook, continue, continue. I uh, want to go back to your account here. In contacts, you just want to add in a test contact quickly. So we'll just go add, put my name in. Cool. Press save. Um, and we just want to go down to uh, campaigns and workflow and you want to add them in to conversation starts. Choose add, add them in. Ah, got to put your correct number in. There we go. You want to take yourself out of there and re-add yourself. Cool, that's been sent. And then on your phone, you want to go across to the, um, the text you just received. Just received it now. And just type in yes, and you should be able to see my response come back on the screen in a sec. Cool, come back there. Um, and that should. Let's have a look. If that hasn't. Okay, so we've. Um, added a contact in there. Now we just want to go to custom fields and settings, sorry, custom values. Uh, and we just want to add in our catch hook link, which I've just copied uh, from here. Just copy that, pop it, make sure that's in there. And that's all you kind of have to do. Then we want to go to contacts and then we want to 
koyardım. And again, wait for the message to come. You respond. Yes, I should have put that cat jerk in before. So, so I've had to do this twice. Calls actually come through. Right, perfect. Now that should have come through the cat jerk. So we've got um, their custom fields. Let's quickly see. Can take a little bit of time. There we go. Got it. Just want to check they've got that. Yep, so it's got all the fields that we need. Press continue. Um, and then we want to go to OpenAI. And we want to uh, send prompt. And the event, uh, sorry, send prompt. That's it, continue. Go with this one. Model. We want to select uh, this text DaVinci 3, this one here. And then you want to get your prompt, which is what you send to OpenAI. And then you just want to amend a custom field there. Should be able to find it in here. There we go. Uh, you want to bring this down to. 256, that's all good. Let's continue. Test. Cool, so it's uh, that's worked. So we want to go and then add a high level onto there. Uh, add update contacts. And you want to go and add your sub account, which is this one here. Oh, so I'm going to just regenerate just to make sure it's working. Cool. And then just copy that in. Go back. Oh, I've already got a signing page, haven't I? There we go. Um, paste that in there, and that will be perfect. And press continue. And then you just want to find their email because they should already be in there. That'll be enough. Uh, you want to make sure that lead is marked as false and then in open AI um, you want to find choices text and that will be what they responded with um, just press uh, continue test action call and then publish Right, cool. Uh, now that should uh, be everything. So let us test it. So what we need to go and do is we need to go back in to our high level, go to contacts. We want to firstly go into to get rid of this. Now I just want to go and double check our fields are all there. All good. And I want to go back to here. We want to make sure that we get rid of all the stuff that's been done for testing. I want to press save. Once that's done, we can add to AI Conversation Start. 
Now let's uh, see how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in. Um, and then we're gonna go to my phone and see what happens. Okay, cool, so you can see that the first message has been sent through. Uh, I've just triggered that inside high level um, and this response will trigger the AI bot. So I'll put in yes. Cool, okay, there it goes. Um, so it's just popped through. So we can respond back with um, what we think is our biggest debt headache. We'll send that back. Okay. Try and uh, trick it up a little bit. Overall. So let's send that. Let's see what it has to say for, the, for itself on that one. Ah, okay, so can I answer questions like that, which is quite interesting. Um, Put in 10,000. And they will ask one more question. So how much you can afford to pay towards your debt each month? Send them something like that back. Um, and then this is the last question, which is basically trying to book in an appointment. So we'll go. Now, perfect, there we go. Um, and that's basically how the bot is set up. So we set that up in under 10 minutes and you can get going straight away basically uh, with a few amendments of the prompt. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, it's quite a um, human-like uh, text conversation. If you have any questions, maybe pop something in the comments. Um, and again, yeah, please like, like this video if you enjoyed it. Cheers. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Listen, you can go away and try and figure out all this stuff out yourself. And if you are that type of person, then no worries at all. We do actually have an offer at the moment where we're giving you everything that you've just seen with Graham. There'll be a link below in the description of this YouTube video, which you can click and it, and it tells you exactly um, what, what it looks like and how much it is. It's very affordable. I hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, please comment in the comment sections below. Give us a like if you want us to um, create more videos like this and finally subscribe to our channel uh, so you'll be the first to know whenever we create new content. I'll speak to you soon.